Hey guys and welcome to another how-to video. Today we're going to take a look at a new mod uh, that's out by Farmer Andy. Uh, you can find it over at lsmodcompany.com and there will be a link in the description. Uh, this mod allows you to make your own liquid fertilizer. Uh, of course there are other mods out there that let you make liquid fertilizer uh, but this mod actually deals with mixing liquid fertilizer. Um, there's mods out there of course that allow you to make it with by combining, let's say, liquid fertilizer or um, liquid manure and solid manure, and then you get um, fertilizer. Or there's mods that take digestate and make liquid fertilizer. And there's several other mods out there that, through various iterations of products, uh, maybe solid fertilizer and water, uh, you end up with liquid fertilizer. This mod, basically, you make liquid fertilizer the way farmers do in real life. You take a concentrate. In this example, you take big bags of um, solid fertilizer, I guess, uh, well, big bags of nitrum, uh, which is a nitrous, uh, nitrogen type uh, additive, and you mix that with water in a special mixing tank, and you end up with fertilizer. So you have two options, and I'll show you this in the, in the uh, store here shortly. You can buy big bags like this of nitrum, uh, which are 600 liters each, and mix that with water. Or you could place this particular structure down, which is a silo that allows you to fill nitrum um, directly from the silo. Just like your fertilizer and seed fill placeables, uh, this does have a price premium over the big bags. So that's just something to be aware of. Uh, something else that comes with the mod is this storage silo. Uh, this handy storage silo uh, will you will you can store your liquid fertilizer in this. You've got a nice uh, digital readout here that tells you how much liquid fertilizer you have there. And uh, here's your your hose hookup and the dynamic hoses do work on this mod. And this is kind of a, a readout gauge uh, as we put liquid fertilizer in there. You'll see little indicator dots rise. So that's part of the 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 mod. And then these two trailers are part of the mod. So the first trailer here on the left that says Flegel Fertilizer Mixer, that's the actual mixing tank uh, that you will put the, the fertilized powder, the nitrum in, and then add water. And then this second tank is simply a transportation tank uh, that you can transport water or liquid fertilizer in. Uh, both of these tanks hold 20,000 liters. Uh, the way you tell them apart is one says Flegel Fertilize Mixer, and you'll notice on the top, let me try to get up here, on the top of this one, you have this uh, mixing pump and PTO shaft uh, that will rotate, actually. It's animated with a rotation, and it's not over on that particular tank. Uh, the back lid does open on both tanks, and both of these tanks are equipped with the overloader pipe, uh, that is an option. So we also have, just for comparative purposes, uh, this is the small uh, Cote Universal tank, our trailer, uh, with equipped with overflow pipe. So we're going to use that to see if we can uh, transport our liquid fertilizer in that as well. Uh, we have a fertilized, liquid fertilized sprayer that we're going to use to uh, validate that we can fill from everything. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and hook up some tractors. Or well, actually, before we do that, let's look at things in the store. So in the store, you'll find uh, the items in... Oh, let's stop. In the store, you'll find the items related to this mod in three different categories. Under miscellaneous, you'll find the two tanks. So the liquid fertilizer mixer is $35,000. You'll see it holds... Um, water, the nitrum mix, liquid fertilizer, and this particular icon basically represents the the mix, the ratio of water and nitrum before it turns into liquid fertilizer. You see it has $10 a day, requires 30 horsepower to operate, 
and holds 20,000 liters. So if we go in here, we have some options. We have agar wheels and standard wheels. We can change our rim color to whatever we want. And we can have a mixer overload pipe on or off. So I have it on, on that particular model. Then we have the liquid fertilizer barrel that again is $10 a day, 30 horsepower to operate, holds 20,000 liters, but this time it only holds water or liquid fertilizer. So you have the same options, agar or standard. You can select your rim color and you can have overload pipe on or off. Okay. Another place you'll find the mods is under placeables. You have the liquid fertilizer storage and then nitrum refill tank. Okay. And then under pallets, you'll find the actual bags of nitrum, $280 for 600 liters. So I have found that the ratio of nitrum to water is four nitrum bags to basically one load of water. So four nitrum bags will make 20,000 liters of liquid fertilizer. So let's do a little math here and figure out what that's going to basically cost us. So I'm going to break out of the game and just pull up my calculator real quick. Uh, $280 per bag times four bags is $1,120 uh, to buy the nitrum in big bags. If we look at the pallets, oops, if we look at the pallets of liquid fertilizer, we pay $2,400 for 2,000 liters of liquid fertilizer. To buy 20,000 liters of liquid fertilizer, we would be paying $24,000 versus $1,120 to make our own. Well, of course, you might say, well, you've got to buy the equipment. Well, it is not going to take long for you to go through 20,000 liters of liquid fertilizer let alone um, if you were having to pay for it all, you would quickly make your money back by making your own liquid fertilizer this way. So let's go ahead and uh, set up our tank here. And I want to show you something else that's pretty cool. So let's move this over here. Okay, and let's open our, our lid with our end button. Okay. Now, let's go over here. Let's get our telehandler. Okay. Now, you may see I have five bags of nitrum here. And you may be wondering, well, why do I have five bags if I said it only took four? Well, I want to show you what happens if you mess up the mix. Okay. Because just like the, uh, oops, uh, I didn't think you would give it to me. Just like the TMR mixer, you have to have the right ratios. If you don't have the right ratios, then of course you're not going to get liquid fertilizer. You're going to get something else. So I'm going to take this bag over here and I'm going to dump it in. you can see once you get close it basically animates that you're dumping it in you can see the unloading error now let's jump in here and look at our f1 screen and you'll see that we have 100 percent nitrum and we have zero water and you can see the arrows that indicate the uh, appropriate range so we're going to go ahead and fill this up with nitrum All right, now we're going to uh, close our lid. All right, you can see, let's go ahead and turn on our mixer. You can see the PTO shaft. You can see the mixing animations. It's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and drive over here and uh, get some water in this. And I want to show you what this particular mod allows you to do if you mess up. And according to a posting I read on LS Mod Company, the particular
particular feature I'm about to show you is going to be added to the Kote Universal Pack uh, in a in an update that is pending. All right, so let's go ahead and load water. And as you can see, right now we have one in the green and one in the red. And down in our information screen on the bottom right, we see wrong mix. Now this has got the uh, game extension mod, and we have uh, the icon which basically shows the little little bottle and the big jug. So let's go ahead and keep on filling. All right, now that we have both indicators in green, you can see in the bottom right our icon has changed to liquid fertilizer, and we're good. So let's keep on filling. So as we are filling up, our liquid fertilizer is, we're still liquid fertilizer, and now we are, oh, now we have the wrong mix again. So in this case, we've got the wrong mix. We've got 6,096 liters of just useless liquid. We could, of course, go over and add some more nitrum to get our mix ratio back up. But let's just say that we went and added too much water and we can't fix it. There's no way we can fix the, the mix by simply adding nitrum because we are now over our capacity. Well, you'll see this in the F1 menu. Left control X says execute emptying. This is a brand new functionality to these tanks uh, that Farmer Andy has done. Uh, with the, the biggest issue with the Kote Universal Pack our universal tanks is let's say you have just a dredge of something in the tank let's say you're transporting water and you have like 200 liters of water left but you want to use that same tank to transport milk well now you can't because you gotta wait until you can empty the water out to use it for milk well I can execute emptying and watch what happens so I'm going to do left control X and look, my quantities are going down. I am emptying. There's no animation, but I am now dumping on the ground, basically, the mix. So let me just stop that. So that is what I understand will be soon added to the Kote Universal Pack, is the ability to basically force unload uh, your mix. So let's go back. You can see I've got the wrong ratio. I've got too much liquid, or too much water, and not enough nitrum. So let's go back and get some nitrum from the refill tank, the placeable refill tank, and we'll see that we can we can basically fix this by adding more nitrum to the mix since we have capacity in our tank. All right, so let's let's back up a little bit. All right, so hits R. Up oh, now we have liquid fertilizer. So now we are good. So that little shot cost us $203. I don't know how much we put in there, but it wasn't too much, I don't think. So let's go over here and let's try something. All right, so let's move our overload pipe out. Okay. Now let's go over here and get our tractor. And let's get this tank. And let's pull up here and see if we can fill. All right. Um. There we go. Let's try let's try this overload pipe and see if this works. Oops. All right. Let's take and 
disconnect from this one. So you see we're having issues going from the mixer tank to the um, transport tank. Right, let's roll this over here. Oh, we hit a collision. All right. There we go. All right, you can see I can't load up this. But I'm going to try this tank. I honestly do not know if this will work or not. I'm guessing it won't since the others did not. All right, you see I'm not able to load. I'm trying. All right, from what I understand, uh, the overload functionality of the mixing tank is fairly limited to just emptying into the storage. So let's go on over here. And let's empty this into storage. Okay. You can hear it whining. You can see our hose. And this will in jump up in a few moments. Alright, we didn't put too much in there. So we're going to actually load up another 20,000 liters just for fun. I just wanted to uh, to demonstrate that you could... You, you basically need the other trailer in order to actually overload. So we're going to go over here and we're going to... We're going to get water first. And we're going to get 18,000 liters of water. And then we're going to come back and we're going to put in the nitrum. Okay, while that's loading up, let's jump across to the shop again. Because this should be reading a number now. So there we have 3360 in this particular tank. And we do have a little bit of an indicator on the tank. So let's go over here and uh, just try to draw a little bit out of the tank. So we can fill directly from the tank with our fertilized sprayer. So this is the Cote tank. You can see we can draw directly into the Cote tank. And let's use our overload pipe. Alright. I think I know what I'm doing here wrong. I think the trailer needs to also be hooked up. Okay, 
now we should be able to there we go so you can see we just overloaded from our Cote tank into our sprayer okay we can leave that and now let's draw Draw some out again. Okay, you can see we just uh, filled up. Not filled up, but we just took some liquid fertilizer out using this transport tank. And we just filled up some more liquid fertilizer. As you can see, that is now empty. All right. So we're going to show, demonstrate one other thing with this. And we're going to bring this particular tractor over and fill it up with water. All right, so let's get back to this one. All right, so now we have 20,000 liters of water. Let's see if we can add nitrum to this. I don't know if we can, but uh, we'll have to see. Like I said, we may have to empty this out. I've actually never tried it this way. I have always, in my testing, added the nitrum first. Let's open our tank. So in theory, I should be able to do this because all I'm doing is adding a powder to a liquid. I shouldn't be actually increasing the volume because the powder should dissolve. Oops, come on. All right. So let's see, we may have to force unload some of this water. Oops. I didn't think the forks had it because it wasn't showing up right. There we go. Alright, so let's see if I can uh, unload this. Alright, uh, it won't let me unload it, okay good to know. So let's uh, control X. Alright, so let's unload that a little bit. So as you can see, our bottom nitrum indicator is slowly counting up. Our water indicator is slowly counting down. I might have to dump more liquid out. All right, so let's uh, get some more. So I really like this mod, and I know I'm going to I'm going to be adding this to the next map that I do, as how I am going to basically make my liquid fertilizer. 
because I like this method a lot better now uh, because it is a bit more a bit more realistic in my mind than uh, magically making fertilizer with a uh, with a machine or a factory so where are we at here we may have to dump some more because we're almost at 20,000 yep so let's uh, control X Let's dump some mix. Alright, that should be good. Alright, let's get uh, get some more. So, the mix ratio is about one bag to every 5,000 liters of water. Oops. You do have to raise these up. You cannot drive next to these bags and fill from them. So you do have to uh, raise them up and tip into this little uh, target zone. You see the, uh, the rectangle at the bottom? That is the target zone for the tipping. So you can see our indicators slowly in the bottom getting closer. Uh, like I said, the way I have done it in the past is I've added four bags of nitrum and then filled the tank up with water. We are almost there. I don't think we'll need to add any more. Uh, there we go. So we are at the right mix. We're just going to go ahead and use up the rest of this bag just uh, for as because we can. All right, so we've almost got 20,000 units of, uh, of fertilizer. Now let's take this over to our storage tank. Okay, so we are filling and we have the gauge. So we can see our gauge going down as we empty. Okay, we will see that climb as, uh, as it fills. Let's go over here and get our water. So I want to show you one last function of this uh, particular tank. And what we're going to do is we're going to overload the water from this tank into our fertilizer mixer. Since this tank can transport water or liquid fertilizer, you can see our gauge here is at 20,000. Go ahead and move out our pipe. All right, so let's see if this is done. So this is almost done emptying. All right, so let's try to fill. And now we are overloading from our water tank. We should see this indicator drop. You can see it lowering. And we should see this indicator going up. So now we are overloading from our transport tank into our mixer tank. And as you can see now we have 22,921 liters of liquid fertilizer. You see our indicators going up there. So this is by far has to be the cheapest way to make your own liquid fertilizer 
And while you're at it, you are making it in a fairly realistic fashion uh, because you are adding uh, fertilizer. Oops, we don't want to do that. You're adding a mix uh, into water, and that's how farmers in real life make their spray fertilizer. Uh, at least that's how they did it back when I was a kid, and I would watch my uh, grandfather use uh, liquid fertilizer concentrate. Uh, so you'd have these big jugs of fertilizer. He'd wear the uh, neoprene um, apron and neoprene gloves to protect himself. He would dump those in the tank, and then he would toss a, uh, a hose in the tank and just fill it up from the from the spigot outside the, uh, the barn. And uh, once he had that full, he would mix it up and uh, go out in the fields and spray it. So there you go, guys. This is the liquid fertilizer production pack uh, you can download from the LS Mod Company. This is a Farmer Andy production, and it is an awesome mod that I will be adding to my play. So I hope you liked this video. If you do, please click the like button. Uh, if you like to uh, go ahead and subscribe, please do that. I try to bring you um, interesting how-to videos once a week, once every couple weeks. In addition, we do Let's Play series. And also we do map reviews uh, that I call map first impression videos. So until next time, guys, happy farming.